This video is brought to you by SoccerSavings.com, offering all the latest and greatest soccer gear at everyday low prices. Be sure to use coupon code SR4U at checkout to receive 10% off any order. Hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com, bringing you my review plus on feet video of the Nike Magista Opus in the brand new highlight pack colorway, which is poison green, black, and total orange. Now inside the box, they do include a string bag to go along with the shoes themselves. The string bag is black in color with black strings. You're gonna find an orange Nike swoosh on one side and poison green Nike football branding on the other. Other than that, all you're going to find inside the box, as you guys can see, are the shoes themselves. So we'll get these guys out of the box really quickly and take a closer look at this very bright colorway of the Nike Magista Opus, which in my opinion is a highly underrated shoe. We're going to be going over all of the details in today's video, such as taking a closer look at the colorway, talking tech specs, and of course taking a look at how these things fit and feel on feet. So if you are interested in learning more about this particular shoe, please stick around. And if you're interested in a pair for yourself, check out the review page on my website. It'll be the very first link in the description of this video. Not only will you find a detailed written review on that page you'll also find buy it now links with exclusive sr4u coupon codes where you'll actually be able to pick these up below their normal retail price so if you're interested in a pair first link down below in the description go ahead and check it out and with that being said let's get right into the review to start things off let's quickly talk about the colorway now this is of course part of the highlight pack from nike so as you'd expect they're bright green with volt yellow and total orange accents so if you're looking for something bright you're probably going to like how these things look now side by side with the Magista Obra you can see that it is the same combination of colors and it technically is the same pattern on the shoe but obviously because this is made from Flyknit and this is made from Kangalite the two colors side by side aren't identical so you have kind of a nice light green what they call poison green for the majority of the upper and then of course the cutouts in the upper revealing that performance mesh underlay that underlay mesh material is volt yellow in color but not as bright a volt yellow as you might expect especially against the already bright poison green upper you're going to find poison green in the laces as well as in the tongue and of course the heel counter of the sole plate as well orange nike swoosh with a black outline on both the lateral and medial side as you guys can see your magista branding in black on the back and of course the sole plate and stud pattern features a combination of poison green black and total orange as well so all in all really nice looking colorway especially if you're looking for something bright bright green is not personally my cup of tea but again if you like bright shoes you're probably going to like how these look so leave your opinions on them down below in the comment section do you love them do you hate them why or why not and with that being said let's move on to the tech spec so we can learn a little bit more about the overall performance as most of you already know by this point the ctr 360 line from nike was replaced by the magista line and a lot of people viewed the magista to Obra as the replacement for the Maestri 3, which was their previous top end model in this renamed silo. Uh, that's not actually the case. The Magista Obra is kind of its own thing, whereas the Magista Opus really is the unofficial Maestri 4. If you are a fan of the CTR 360 line and you want something similar that offers top end performance and just similar characteristics overall, the Magista Opus is definitely the way to go. And in my opinion, I prefer playing in the Opus versus the Obra, although they're both very, very good shoes. Now, if you guys want as much detailed information as possible, I would strongly recommend checking out the full written review on my website it's the first link down below in the description go ahead and check it out it covers absolutely everything but for the sake of this video we're going to cover the necessities as far as tech specs and what you should know about this shoe if you are at all interested in a pair for yourself now as far as the upper is concerned this is the last standing top end model from nike that incorporates a kangalite upper now kangalite is a synthetic material designed to mimic the natural feel and comfort that you would get from kangaroo leather while maintaining the benefits of a synthetic in that it's lighter, maintains its shape better, dries out more quickly, doesn't absorb as much water, etc, etc. Now, in the case of the Magista Opus, it's definitely the most unique implementation of Kangalite that we've seen, especially in comparison to the Maestri 1, 2, and 3. Now, what they've done here is they've incorporated a cutout design that kind of mimics the appearance of what you're going to find from the Flyknit Magista Obra, but obviously these aren't Flyknit. You have cutouts in the Kangalite, 
substrate that make it very thin, very, very flexible, um, a lot thinner in comparison to the Maestri 3. So it doesn't have quite as padded a touch on the ball, but it definitely is still leather-like in terms of how it feels. And then you have an exposed underlay of what they call performance mesh, which not only acts as part of the upper, but also the entire lining of the shoe. So it's very thin, very lightweight, um, and just very flexible and natural feeling on your foot. There's really no break in time required with this shoe. They feel pretty much comfortable from right out of the box. As far as touch goes, uh, what's unique about the Opus that I think a lot of people don't realize until they see the shoe in person is that while there are no rubber elements to the shoe itself, which makes for a nice consistent touch across the entire foot, it isn't left completely bare. Um, you're gonna notice that along the edge, it's a little bit difficult to see on this colorway. You have a leather grain finish around the borders here where it attaches to the sole plate, but the part here with the actual pattern and the cutouts features a very kind of light texturing to it, almost like a very, very fine sandpaper, if that makes any sense. It just provides a little bit of additional grip on the ball and pretty much all types of weather conditions that doesn't make the upper feel too slick. It's just that little bit of extra grip that is really appreciated and something you won't notice about this shoe until you actually touch a ball. Cause like I said, the appearance can be definitely deceiving. It also does feature ACC all conditions control acting as your wet control element. Speaking of using this shoe in wet weather, I get a lot of questions regarding water getting inside of the shoe because it does have all the exposed mesh in the upper. If you stand in a puddle or if the ground, uh, if you're playing in an extremely wet weather where it's raining very heavily, heavily and there's puddles on the field. Yes, your feet are going to get wet, but that's going to be the case with 99% of soccer shoes out there. No soccer shoe is waterproof. They're all water resistant up to a certain point. And as far as water resistance goes with this shoe, um, as long as it isn't overly soaking wet in terms of the field you're playing on, you shouldn't have too many problems. I was actually surprised while wearing these. I was expecting to have really big issues as far as my feet being absolutely soaked right off the bat, but it didn't seem to be the case. Again, if you stand in a puddle, your feet are going to get wet no matter what shoe you have on but these honestly aren't too bad despite how the design may come across as just being uh, a water trap if you will um, so you do have of course the carryover lacing system from the ctr 360 line uh, the tongue is made from kangalite and you do have a little bit of a memory foam insert on the underside here running through the middle which is really really nice it does obviously have the low cut standard low cut design that you'd expect from most soccer cleats that you won't find of course on the magista obra uh, there is an external plastic heel counter the heel liner is a perforated smooth synthetic leather insole is fully removable features a mesh liner on top perforations throughout and it's just made from a single layer of foam the exact same insole you will find on the magista obra and then moving on to the sole plate like i mentioned it does have the one piece attached heel counter and again while it appears to be very similar to the obra it's actually a lot more flexible which i personally prefer just makes for a more natural feel as far as running in these shoes especially from right out of the box it's not overly stiff doesn't really require any break in time either and of course you get the Magista stud pattern. This is of course a firm ground variation. All conical studs, similar to what you're gonna find from the Tiempo line, but obviously with conical studs in the heel versus bladed ones. They have a narrow profile and are a decent length as well. So they penetrate the ground quite well, providing really good traction when pushing off in pretty much any direction. And because of their rounded shape, you get plenty of maneuverability well planted as well. One of my personal favorite stud patterns currently out there on the market. So all in all, just a great performer. Again, if you are a fan of the CTR 360 series and you want something similar, the Obra is not the way to go. You should definitely take a look at the Opus. The Obra is a great shoe in terms of what it has to offer, but what it has to offer is completely new. Again, if you want more of the same, something similar to what you got from the CTR 360s, take a look at the Magista Opus. Mainly because the Magista Opus hasn't been the most popular model, most people don't realize how lightweight these things actually are, which I'm going to show you right now in real time using this scale. Now keep in mind this is a brand new pair in a size 9.5 US. We're going to throw it on the scale and you can see that they weigh in at 6.9 ounces, which is the equivalent of 194 grams. Now, for the sake of comparison, that is lighter than the Superfly 4, lighter than the Magista Obra, and even lighter, surprisingly, than the 2015 F50 Adi Zero from Adidas, which is really more than you could possibly ever ask for from a shoe of this type, with the type of feel that provides, the comfort level that it provides, and the solid construction overall that the Magista Opus has. So if you are considering this shoe, one really positive aspect about it is that, like I said, it's much lighter than you're probably expecting, which is never a bad thing. All right, so here's a look at the Magista Opus on 
on feet. On my left foot, I have the stock poison green laces that come with the shoes. And on my right foot, I have a pair of reflective neon yellow SR4U replacement laces. If you're interested in a pair of replacement laces for yourself, check out the website sr4ulaces.com. It'll be linked in the description of this video. So go ahead and check it out. As far as the fit and feel of these shoes are concerned, they're very, very comfortable from right out of the box. While they aren't like the Obra, um, with their flying it upper and mid cut dynamic fit collar, this shoe still does have a sock like sensation on feet due to its unique construction of the upper. It's a Kangalite synthetic with perforations. Then you have the performance mesh underlay that acts as part of the upper as well as the entire liner for the inside of the shoe. Because you have all those cutouts and there's really no restriction because of the one piece mesh liner, they're very, very flexible from right out of the box. There's no restrictiveness to the upper whatsoever, which is kind of unusual for a synthetic material. With that being said, they're pretty much good to go from right out of the box, very, very comfortable, minimal break in time required. But with that being said, after several hours of wear time, you will find that the upper will stretch a little bit as far as width is concerned and soften up even more, which is really, really nice. Very comfortable shoes. As far as width goes, these are going to be suitable for most people. It does have the same shape as the rest of the Magista line. So as long as you don't have extremely wide feet or struggle with the width of soccer shoes, you shouldn't have any issues with the Magista Opus. And again, they will stretch a little bit after some break in time. And as far as sizing is concerned, these guys run about a half size small. Normally I wear a 9 US, had to bump it up to a 9.5 in the Magista line, not just the Opus. So again, if you are looking at any of the Magista models, I would strongly recommend going a half size up for the best possible fit. Like I said, normally we're a 9 US, bumped it up to a 9.5, and the fit and the length is absolutely perfect. All right guys, sit for my review of the Nike Magista Opus in the poison green colorway. If you're looking for something bright, this colorway is definitely gonna do it for you. And as far as the Opus is concerned, it's one of the best shoes on the market that I think most people aren't considering at all just because it hasn't had much attention on it. But as far as performance is concerned, it really does have a lot to offer. The Kangalite upper in combination with the performance mesh makes for a very comfortable feel as well as a great touch on the ball. They're very comfortable shoes, extremely lightweight, offer a nice flex sole plate and a stud pattern from the Magista line that performs very very well on firm natural grass playing surfaces. So again if you were a fan of the CTR 360 line and you want the next logical progression the Magista Opus is definitely what you're looking for. If you guys do want more detailed information such as my full written review check out the review page on my website it's the first link down below in the description. In that full written review it covers absolutely everything you could possibly want to know about this shoe much more info than what you found in the video so go ahead and check that out. Also on that review page, you will find buy it now links with the best prices online, including exclusive SR4U coupon codes, where you'll be able to pick these up below their normal $200 retail price. So go ahead and check that page out again if you're interested in a pair for yourself. First link down below in the description of this video. If you have any questions regarding this shoe or questions in general, leave them down below in the comments. I definitely will get an answer out to you. All your suggestions will also be read down below in the comments as well. If you enjoyed today's video, found it helpful and informative, be sure to support it with a like. Subscribe if you haven't already for daily videos on all the latest and greatest soccer gear. You can find all my social media information linked in the description of this video as well. And other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. And as always, thanks for watching.